what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out seth rollins upset vince mcmahon wrestling return wwe canceled huge plans and other wrestling news by none other than wrestlemania if you haven't subscribed to them already go ahead hit the subscribe button they are probably one of the better uh, wrestling news related channels on YouTube uh, and this should be a good one I don't know how I feel about Vince McMahon trying to return to wrestling I think he needs to just stay as a, a, a off off screen presence you know maybe every now and then you see him come back around on television you know as the owner uh, what I would like to see Vince do is uh create better compelling storylines and push the talent that he has already on the roster. I would like that to happen, Vince, but you know how that goes. So let's get back to some more wrestling reactions, wrestling news. Let's do this thing. What is going on, guys? It is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including is Vince McMahon returning to the ring? Seth Rollins upset over the Elimination Chamber booking? Brock Lesnar almost went bankrupt? Lacey mm -hmm. Evans deletes steamy tweet? WWE cancel huge plans for WrestleMania 38 and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Now let's hit the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks at a winner takes all match confirmed for WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. And topping today's news is a report from WWE confirming what fans have been speculating about regarding the upcoming Clash of the Titans involving champion Brock Lesnar and Universal Champion Roman Reigns. WWE.com has announced the table has been set. 2022 Royal Rumble winner and WWE Champion Brock Lesnar has chosen to battle Roman Reigns in a title versus title match. It's winner take all in a highly anticipated rematch at WrestleMania. Although Lesnar and Reigns have battled many, many times, mm -hmm. many, many times, <laughs> the stakes have never been higher as both belts will be on the line. I don't be surprised to see the WWE up the ante even more by adding a stipulation such as there being a special referee. All I can hope is that the winner brings back Big Goldie. Next up, Mr. I will say this, man. I, I'm just, I'm not a big fan of how we got to this title versus title match. I still stand by my point of you could have at least had someone else win the Royal Rumble. And you can still have this match because you have two nights of WrestleMania. So one night could be the Royal Rumble winner fighting the champion of his choice. Ultimately, we know the Royal Rumble uh, winner would lose. And then night two, champion versus champion. There it is. There's ways to do this. It's just you literally built this whole WrestleMania season around Brock and Roman. And I get it. This is a big money match. This is probably the highest stakes they've ever had facing each other. It's not for one title. It's for both of the head titles. So I understand why this happened. It's just the way we got to this destination was super convoluted. I'm not even going to lie to you. So hopefully it is an entertaining match and the right person win, which is Roman. Because ultimately, if Roman wins this match, wins both belts, the only other person I think all of us would want to see him face is none other than The Rock. That's the only person I can think that would even make sense. So, but we'll see how things play out heading towards WrestleMania. Mr. McMahon returning to the ring? Is Mr. McMahon planning on returning to the ring no. at WrestleMania 38? No. Brad Shepard recently discussed the rumors tweeting, a source in WWE told me that the 76-year-old CEO Vince McMahon is considering getting no. back in the ring for WrestleMania Don't 38. Do it, Vince. it is absolutely not official, just something currently on the table. Ultimately, it'll be up to Vince himself. Uh, the idea of a septuagenarian slugging it out with someone wouldn't surprise any member of the WWE Universe who's familiar with Vinnie Mac's desire to do whatever's best for business. But while some might be skeptical at Mr. McMahon wrestling again, that's just one wild idea that's being discussed. Ringside user Steve Carrier recently tweeted, WWE has a lot going on with WrestleMania coming up. Plans are coming together and there are tons of pitches. We've been told that everything will be pitched for the next few weeks, so everything will be discussed. There are no limitations to the ideas being discussed. Our fans have already heard speculation mm -hmm. about Stone Cold Steve Austin returning to the ring, possibly to face Kevin Owens, as well as another Austin-level star appearing. What big match would you like to see at WrestleMania 38? Let us know in the comments down below. Not no Vince McMahon. No. No. I, I get it. They're trying to 
bring out all the stops, all the you know pageantry. They they want to go as big as possible for this WrestleMania, and that's cool. But Vince doesn't need to be in the ring. I don't want to see Vince in the ring. I want to see Vince come up with better storytelling, or at least the writers come up with better storytelling, and maybe Vince actually approve some of these good ideas that I'm sure some of the writers come up with. I want Vince to push the current talent he has on the roster. That's what I want to see. I want to see him push new talent or the talent he has, make them become new stars. You got to do it, though. You got to push them. They can't become over if you don't push them correctly. If you don't give them a chance to be the characters that they know they can be. That's just what I want Vince to do. But who knows? Maybe he wants to be in the ring again. I don't want to see it. I'm just being honest with you. Next up, Seth Rollins looking upset over Elimination Chamber booking. Brock Lesnar had a dominant performance at last Saturday's Elimination Mega Chamber dominant. event, winning the championship after destroying and squashing Seth Rollins, AJ Styles, Riddle, and Austin Theory. Judging from a video tweeted by a fan, Seth Rollins was downright dejected after leaving the chamber. Now we can't help but wonder what morale is like on Raw after the WWE fed two main eventers, an upper card star, and a recently pushed newcomer to Lesnar. As discussed in our analysis of the show, the WWE seems content dismantling its undercard in order to hype Lesnar vs. Reigns at WrestleMania. <sighs> but whilst and this is one of these things where it's like, I get it. Brock is Brock. You want to keep him looking strong, but you can't tell me. Him, F5, and Seth Rollins got him the fuck up out of here. Him, F5, and AJ Styles got him the fuck up out of here. Him, F5, and Matt Riddle got him the fuck up out of here. You can't tell me. That didn't look make everyone look like fucking jokes. Jokes. One and five, and everyone's done. And it's like, we've seen this before. We've seen this before. If you guys remember, they were building up Brock so that Roman could be the guy to beat him. You guys remember that summer of uh, Samoa Joe going against Brock? Um... Braun Strowman going against Brock. Everyone that was hot and over and at the top talking a big game when it came to the actual match, they got destroyed. Barely got any offense in. I'm just like, we've seen this before, bro. But then we're supposed to believe that Seth Rollins beat Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania a few years ago. Like, but then he gets destroyed here. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, continuity bro like i don't know i don't know man i know he's a legit he's a legit athlete there's i'm not taking anything away but i think what they did in that elimination chamber did more harm than good because at this point none of them not anybody in that chamber deserves a, even a title opportunity obviously when roman will beat brock lesnar they don't deserve no title opportunity they couldn't even beat brock so how am I supposed to believe now they're supposed to be able to take down Roman? Like, no. Just, ah, uh, man, bro. So on the subject of Brock, Brock Lesnar talked about almost going bankrupt. Now, is he currently facing financial problems? Well, that's not the case right now, but according to Lesnar, there was a time early on in his wrestling career when he was close to bankruptcy, despite being one of the WWE's top paid stars. Lesnar spoke with Pat McAfee recently, nah, revealing he wrestles now interview. because he wants to, not because he has to. He also learned from his early mistakes managing money. I don't have to do this, okay? I've been really wise and I'm not here. I'm doing it because I want to. And I'm not gloating. I just, I've been really good with money. Yeah, so it hasn't always been that way though. I learned from a lot of people. I was almost bankrupt my first run, you know? And Lesnar chose to leave the WWE after WrestleMania 20 despite being in the top spot in the promotion and having a huge contract. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, Brock told McAfee that the exit was something he had to do. I had to leave, I had to go out and I wasn't done yet. You know, if I wouldn't have left, I wouldn't have been, you know, in the UFC and all that stuff. When I made my name, I paved my own road. You know, so I came back and established, this is what I want, this is how I'm going to do it, and I'm very fortunate. And Lesnar's decision to leave the WWE was a gutsy move that paid off as he went on to the UFC becoming the MMA promotion's heavyweight champion after defeating Randy Couture at UFC 91. Brock eventually returned to WWE receiving major paydays as well mm -hmm. as a huge push. Next up is- And it worked out for him. Uh, him leaving worked out for him personally because he made his name even more like 
relevant outside of wrestling because no one thought he could actually do it and he did you know what i'm saying and i respect him for it you know what i'm saying i, I know some of y'all think i hate brock i don't hate brock i think especially after that interview he, he's a down to earth he seemed like a chill person man i don't hate him i never actually hated him i just never liked the booking of him and how everyone else is pretty much pretty much a uh, uh, a joke and it's not Brock's fault. It's WWE's fault. There's been some guys that came into the business that's come into WWE that could have been that antithesis to Brock Lesnar, but either they got let go or they didn't capitalize on the moment of, you know, pushing that person over Brock. You know what I'm saying? Like, the one time I can think of instantly was Drew McIntyre. And it was his time a few years ago when he eliminated Brock Lesnar in the Royal Rumble. And I really wish, and I think this is the one thing a lot of us wish, that that WrestleMania had a crowd. Because that was going to be Drew McIntyre's moment over Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. And that would have, I think, catapulted him even further just to see that happen in front of a live audience. Because he, he was over. That was the one time they actually... You know, outside of Roman and Seth, that was the one time where they made Drew look like a fucking star. And Brock helped him look like a fucking star, bro. It just sucked that it happened in front of nobody. You know what I'm saying? So, it's, it's just one of those things where it's like, we get it. He's one of the best to ever do combat sports. But at the same time, he's not going to be doing this forever. As, as he said in the interview, he does this because he wants to. He's... He's good on money. He does this because he wants to, because he's having a good time. But at some point, Brock's not going to want to do this no more. And what are you going to be left with? That's what you got to ask. Is there backstage heat over Mad Cat Moss's sick bump? And fans watching the Falls Count Anywhere match between Mad Cat Moss and Drew McIntyre saw Ooh. one of the sickest looking bumps in recent memory oh when God. Drew delivered an Alabama slam to Moss, only for Moss to land wrong, striking his head hard onto the mat apron. While Moss finished the match, there were concerns about his health, leading to speculation there might be heat on Drew and or Moss over the blunder. The Fight for Select reported on the mistake, saying, The spot occurred when Moss tucked in his chin on a spot that he was supposed to take flat. Yeah. There was no heat on either wrestler. Those we spoke to said that Drew McIntyre is well regarded for being a safe worker and was very concerned for Moss. Those we heard back from could tell it wasn't an error on his part. Yeah. The ringside news added that Moss also apologized to Vince McMahon, Drew McIntyre, and to the agents for the slip-up as they all went over the move. It's good to hear that Moss is doing well because that yeah. was one scary botch. Yeah, he, he tucked his neck. He was supposed to lay flat because, oh my God, that look. Oh man, I, I, Jesus. Watching that live was scary, bro. I'm so glad he's, you know, he's okay, man. That's just, it's one of those type of things you, you definitely don't want to tuck your neck and don't move like that. You just want to take that flat because if you tuck your neck, you can end up with a situation like that. So glad he's okay. You know, it was a mistake. And this is why wrestlers, you know what I'm saying, they, they definitely deserve the respect that they, they need to get because this in one slip up and you can end up being paralyzed. You know what I'm saying? People say wrestling is fake. Some of the moves is predetermined, you know what I'm saying, and choreographed, but sometimes it goes wrong. And you can't fake having a broken neck like that. You know what I'm saying? So. Next up, WWE blown away by fans' reaction to Lita. Now, the dream match between Hall of Famer Lita and Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch has got the WWE's attention, at least the fans' reaction to Lita's incredible in ring return at Elimination Chamber. According to a report from PW Insider's Mike Johnson, a number of WWE personnel were blown away by the reception Lita received from the fans in Saudi Arabia. While Lita revealed the WWE only wanted to work the Elimination Chamber event, her warm reception could lead to her returning to the ring, even returning to Saudi Arabia. But if she gets in the ring again, who would she want her to face? Now here's the thing, I know some of y'all were thinking, oh, what's up with the Lita slander? It's not that they had a bad match, I think Lita showed very well for her just having a solo match by herself with someone else. She she looked pretty good out there. I, mean, I ain't gonna lie to you. And obviously the crowd definitely showed her some love, you know. I just think if you're going to have a match like this, it needs some type of proper build. And this was thrown together. That's all I'm saying. That's the only reason why I didn't care. Because obviously, one, you knew the outcome. And two, there wasn't really no substantial build. It was just 
Lita walking out there, hey, I'll fight you and and Becky just agreeing to it. You know what I'm saying? And it's that's cool depending on the, the individuals, but I just feel like it could have been a little bit built up a little bit better. But once again, they be having pay per views three weeks out from each other you know what i'm saying so it it really didn't have much time so i get it was just kind of thrown together but that's why i wasn't as invested would i like to see her face someone else potentially yes it just depends on the story that they tell i think she would definitely have some good matches with some of the the current uh uh women on the roster it's just it gotta make sense you know if she's able to put over some of these individuals that would be cool too so i don't know We'll see uh, what happens in the upcoming weeks. Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Lacey Evans deletes a steamy tweet. Not a steamy tweet. In 2021, tweet. there was a storyline involving Lacey Evans having an apparent relationship with Nature Boy Ric Flair, which saw wrestling sassy Southern Belle flirting with Slick Rick in an apparent attempt to throw Charlotte Flair off her game. But during the storyline, Rick put in some not-so-subtle moves on Evans, including one Lacey recently reminded fans about in a tweet. Throwback to when I got to do a segment of Raw with Ric Flair and he tells me he's in the mood for some hooters after seeing me. Evans, who took time off during a storyline when she learned she was pregnant, deleted the tweet, but it's unknown why. And given Flair's rocky relationship with the WWE, mm-hmm. Evans may have been told to take the tweet down. Probably so. She is expected back soon, but there is no official report on when. Next up, WWE so. cancel huge plans for WrestleMania 38. Because, you know, WWE is still not like on speaking terms with Rick like that. So, yeah. And the WWE is always looking for more ways to make Mania live up to its nickname of the Showcase of the Immortals. Whether it's big matches featuring returning legends or in this case, a fatal four-way involving Bailey, Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks, a.k.a. the Four Horsewomen. In an exclusive report, Give Me Sports and Louis Dangle revealed that in November and early December, WWE was seriously considering a Four Horsewomen Fatal 4-Way match for the main event of Night 1 of WrestleMania. Mm. The match would have been Sasha Banks, Bayley and the aforementioned Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair close out the first night of WWE's biggest event of the year. Mm. As you might expect, that changed when WWE was able to secure Ronda Rousey for a second campaign in the WWE. We've been told that the feeling within WWE was that Rousey should be involved in a top women's title match, which would mean that the four-way match couldn't happen. However, ringside news' Steve Carrier tweeted about the story saying, WWE is hearing all pitches for WrestleMania. That being said, a report came out that the company was considering a four horsewomen fatal four-way. We've been told that's not true. We were told this was never discussed, never pitched, never considered, complete fake news. Now, considering the WWE's Damn, ever-changing man. plans and desire to book WrestleMania strongly, we believe the idea was discussed, but probably discarded once Ronda Rousey returned. And finally, can I... I ain't gonna lie to you. I would love to see that. That's a might one main event. You can't tell me all four of them going at it. They all have history. Those are the only four women that get pushed in rotation for the titles, if you think about it. Those are the only four women that get pushed for the main women's championships. If I'm them, I would have booked that. Not only would I have that fatal four-way, because these women have all held the championship multiple times on Raw and SmackDown. They are pretty much the, the NXT Women's Revolution brought to the main roster. I would have that fatal four-way for the Raw and SmackDown's Women's Championship, winner takes all, and they unify the division. One belt. Winner takes all. They unifies the women's division, and that's it. It would have been one of those type of pay-per-views. Brock versus Roman. Winner takes all. Unification of the belts. Same thing with the, the women. All four horsewomen in a fatal four-way. Whoever wins takes all the gold. That would... What? Come on. That would have been pretty cool. But I know you got Bianca Belair in the mix and other people in the mix. So I get it. I understand that. You know what I'm saying? But I that would be that still would be a pretty cool main event for night one, especially for the women. I I would be hella interested because they all have history, bro. Oh, that would be so good. Oh man. Bengal talks plans to appear at Elimination Chamber. Now, was Angle supposed to appear at this year's Chamber pay-per-view? Now, you may recall hearing rumors that WWE had plans for the Hall of Famer, with some murmurings Angle might even have a program heading into WrestleMania 38. While the WWE's Olympic hero didn't appear at last Saturday's Saudi Arabia show, Fightful Select is reporting there were plans for him. 
There were pitches that the academic challenge would even be the three-ish challenge playing off of Angle's wrestling days. There were also discussions regarding Angle serving as a special guest referee in Saudi Arabia at the Elimination Chamber event. Angle discussed this in his Kurt Angle podcast saying, There are a lot of rumors going around that I was supposed to be booked for WrestleMania 38, which is not true at all. If you saw the post, a lot of people thought that I was talking about WrestleMania when I was talking about what I was going to do at the Royal Rumble. Having a program for a few weeks, then the blow-off would have been at Saudi Arabia where I would have refereed the match between RK Bro and Alpha Academy. Angle reminded listeners mm. that he's not signed with WWE and that the plans are always changing. Mm -hmm. Would you have liked to have seen these plans go down? Let us know in the comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more. I mean, I, I would have been kind of indifferent to it. You know, it's not something that I would have been like, oh, I need to see, you know what I'm saying? It's not like, oh, this needs to be on there. He needs to be there. I would have been kind of indifferent to it. But, uh, yeah, this was some interesting no uh, news-related stuff, man. Uh, I will say, Vince, just book the show. We don't need to see you out there wrestling. Push the talent that you have now. We all know you're trying to make the biggest WrestleMania possible. And then after the WrestleMania, you're left with the people that, run, you know, go you know are with you day in and day out weekly shows so what are you gonna do with them that's that's your future right there gotta make sure your future's intact so right now it's just all about the wrestlemania hype wrestlemania moment and then once brock goes on do what he does what you gonna do you know what i'm saying so comment down below let me know what you guys actually be interested in seeing fucking <laughs> vince mcmahon out there wrestling one more time or would you guys just prefer him to just Stay behind the scenes. But I appreciate all love and support. Road to 70K. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.